Well, you guys, here's an update on some of the stuff I've been doing around here. All right, well, the rack is literally done. Uh, got this all done, built the latch. It's gonna go up over a saw. And that's how it's done. I got pictures of, uh, of this uh, better on my Facebook page. If you look down below this video, you'll see the link that goes off to my Facebook page, my T-Man's Go-Karts video page, yeah. I also put on these uh, chain links, vertical. So that way you can hook around and tie stuff up on top. Got them in front here, in the sides. Uh, well, these things in right here, one's gonna hold a shovel, the other one holds an ax. I'm gonna put a latch for him up here somewhere, but that's not until later. Yeah, so as of now, I'm done with this thing and it's, it's painted. He uh, went down and got some of that hammered paint. I mean, it gives it that hammered look. I mean, it looks really nice, but each can is like six or seven bucks. I'm like, Jesus, you're looking at eight cans to pre spray paint this thing. Oh, no, it's not going to take that much. <laughs> he got to six today. <laughs> it's still not all done. And you can see the top there. That's not even spray painted. But anyways, let's see. What else have I done? Oh, then I started working on, I'm going to put a backrest on the bike and built a little pad for it, like that. And then here's this uh, piece of steel here, and the other side is painted black. And I'll be putting it on that, on it like that, bending the flanges over, screwing it into the sides of the board. And this bar right here, I just welded it up, haven't cleaned it off yet. Uh, this will be what, this will go on, so after the steel is put on, I'll be drilling holes through the steel and then putting it on like that. This will then go on the very back of the seat here. I'll be putting uh, some pieces coming off in the back here and then welding that on. So the back of the seat will come up probably about that high, high enough to the point to where after you sit down on it, lower part of your back. I don't really need it when I'm driving this, but someone else sitting behind me will. Another thing is, is I painted the gas tank. You can see I went to try to take the uh, sticker off of the da gas tank. Sticker wouldn't come off, so I painted over the sticker, and then the sticker decided to come off. So, yeah, great. Also, what I did is I took off the, took the paneling off of the engine, spray painted the paneling, and the cover for the pull cord. Spray painted that off flat black. The air filter cover here, that was a little too shiny, so I took that off and spray painted that. And then I'll show you what I did with the under portion of the seat. Okay. So, I just did this today. I took, remember that frame that I had when I built the seat? I put sheet metal in the middle, tacked it in there to cover up all the wood, and then took some expanded steel, put that in between here, or yeah, put it on the bottom here, welded right there on the expanded steel, and then I took some steel wool and stuffed it in there, not really to muffle any sound, but pretty much to dampen the heat off of the exhaust, because when I stopped driving it, all that heat's coming up and rolling up off of this area right back here. So I wanted to make sure that when I had the seat on there, it's going to not transfer a lot of the heat up into the steel or the seat. Now, when I did not have all this on there, and I was just driving it around, because I've driven this thing around a lot, um, before I even had all this stuff on there, it was just exposed to wood it still wouldn't get all that hot. So this here is, I don't know, I don't know if I really need it to do it, but it does actually add to it, make it a little more nice. So, yeah. And to 
help it with a much tighter fit, I took some uh, vinyl, wrapped the vinyl around the corner down here, and then took some black tape around it. So now it sits in there nice and snug. I can pull the cord and let the thing idle and there's no rattle coming from the seat anymore. So that's what I've done on the bike here. Yeah, we started up a fire in this thing just the other day. Uh, kind of burn off all of the uh, rust that's inside of it and stuff like that. So I don't know if it really helped out any, but trying to the process of getting ready for winter. And it's been pretty cold here the past oh god almost three weeks something like that but another thing is um ever since mid-august turn off my welder ever since mid-august we've been having these real bad fires just east or just west of us uh right at the idaho border since we get since the weather moves from the west to the east here at least all that smoke ends up going right over the top of us and it's been going on since like mid of August so it has been real miserable out here I have not wanted to come out and do anything outside sometimes it's so dang well let's see if we can see anything now nope look normally you can see the mountains right there but there's so much smoke in the air you can't even see it the moon I don't know if you can really tell but the moon is pretty orange and yeah, it doesn't really show up that good in the camera but yeah the sun goes down see all that orange right there yeah that's all forest fire smoke and it's not picking it up very well yeah there's been days I've come out here and I'll show you here I'll look down the street and that garage right there way 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 down there I can't even barely see that because it's been so smoky out here heck there's times when I'll come walking out here and there's ash falling from the sky so yeah it's not a the weather around here hasn't been very user friendly yeah but I have been having lots of fun on the bike though I can tell you that much and it's been great absolutely great so mixed with that and just doing a bunch of little stuff around here. I haven't done any videos on that just because I just, I'll come out here and I'll do a little bit of work and then I'll go back in the house just because of all the smoke and everything. And it's just, my eyes get all dried out and just nasty. See, there's Allie playing with a neighbor girl on a dirt hill. That's okay, I don't mind her getting dirty. That's cool, she can grow up to be a tomboy. Yeah, then she'll appreciate getting dirty. That'll be cool. I believe in princesses and looking pretty. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to show you guys something else that I have no idea where this came from. But I came walking out here the other day and I saw this thing sitting out here and I was like, what the hell is this? Now, from a collector's point of view, it's really crappy because somebody totally destroyed this thing. But it, it's still pretty cool. So let me show you this. All right, you see that right there? That thing is an old, I mean an old, fire extinguisher. The thing is made out of brass. And somebody turned it into a light. This whole thing screws off and you fill it up with the chemical. It tells you how the chemical is made. Isn't that crazy? Here, let me put this on... Uh, macro so you guys can see this okay I don't know if you guys will be able to read what this says but yeah it tells you how to make the chemical on this thing the badgers fire extinguisher if you guys can read that here, let me read it. It says, uh, two and a half gallon hand fire extinguisher made by the Underwriters Laboratories Incorporated, classification A1. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It 
this turns off and yeah somebody drilled a hole straight down through this thing and then it's also drilled out the bottom and that's where the cord hooks into yeah this thing's definitely super super old I have no idea how old it is there's no date on it Badger Fire Extinguisher Company Incorporated Somerville Massachusetts Wow. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And this, Jesus, I don't even want to bend that. I'm afraid, I'm afraid it's going to crack, fall apart on me. But I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, yeah. Huh. What a waste. But still, at the same time, you know, you can still kind of use it. <laughs> And it does work. I plugged it in and stuff like that. I thought it'd be... Well, I brought the thing in the house and I thought it was kind of cool. And I showed Chris on and she was like, you ain't keeping that thing in our house. And I'm like, what? Can't you appreciate class? So I decided that, all right, fine, I'll just bring it out into the shop. I'll just keep it out in the shop. It'd be a good shop light. So, yeah, that's where it's at right now. But anyways, guys, I thought I'd do this video throw it out to you because I know I'll be getting a lot of emails from you guys asking me, hey, when are you going to put out your next video? Well, you know, I'll just do a lot of different little things here and there. So, yeah, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. That's awesome. And I'll keep you guys updated on the trail bike here. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.